Alright, what's up guys? Michael here with an update on the actual computer build. But before I start kind of talking about the computer, I want to say uh, the question in the title above. Should I get Windows 7 or should I get Windows 8? Now the reason I'm even asking this question is because I've actually heard that Windows 7 is a little bit of a better operating system for gaming. And I haven't tried out Windows 8 yet, but uh, just let me guys know in the comments below uh, if I should get Windows 7 or Windows 8. I'm kind of leaning towards win Windows 7 now even though it would be more money, uh, but if it's a better operating system, then I'll probably go with that, and I could always do a boot later on in life. But here is the actual computer. It's pretty much basically 100% built now. Uh, the only thing I have to do is really install uh, an OS on it. Um, well, I do have XP on it right now, because I got XP for free, legally, completely legally. Um, and that's not even, I'm not being sarcastic or anything. I got XP for uh, free from my school, and... Um, yeah, now I'm just waiting to, to see if I should upgrade to 7 or 8, because I do not like XP as much as other people do. I do not like it. So I got the power supply here, network card, graphics card, the Intel i5, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM. We got an SSD right here. You guys can see in my last update video, I was waiting for the converter to come in. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can see the actual converter right here and the SSD back here as well as the 500 gig hard drive to store all of my games and stuff and we also got a blue LED fan right here and I'll turn that on hopefully later on in this video as well as a blue LED fan right here I believe this is 200 millimeter 120 millimeter and then a stock fan that came with the Corsair uh, case here which is also 200 millimeter so go ahead and just get an upper close look at my motherboard I guess you guys could say so we got network card there CMOS battery, graphics card, uh, some SATA 3 connectors right there, power supply, the RAM, the stock uh, cooling fan, which I might upgrade later. Uh, I probably, when I upgrade the actual fan, I'll probably upgrade the uh, um, G CPU too because it would just make more sense. Even though it's kind of like a pain in the ass to upgrade because of the thermal paste and stuff, I uh, still probably will eventually up end up upgrading it. And of course we got the power supply right here. So we got on the outside here, we got the antennas from the network card right here. As well as the graphics card inputs right here. And the inputs for the motherboard. And these things that I actually have plugged in right here. We have a USB 3, USB 3, USB 3, USB 3. And then these two things right here. I actually plug into the USB 3 right here. And then you can use the stock not the stock but the USB 3 ports on the front of this case right here so you can see all the ports on the front of the Corsair Obsidian case got my DVD drive here and then it's kind of like a quick release thing to clean the fan get dust out so that just snaps back in just like that all right so here it is again with the case actually on of course, this case does come with a window, and then here's a better look at that hot swap bay. You guys can see right there, and then the ports and stuff. I was kind of at a different angle last time, but let me go ahead and plug this thing in here, and we can uh, see, I can show you guys the actual blue LEDs. All right, so it is very dark, but I will turn on a light here eventually, but you can see the actual blue LED inside the case right there. So that's the 120 millimeter, as well as the one on the front here. So we can pop this off and you can see the blue LED as well as you can see it inside if you take a look through the window and then again right there. So let's go ahead and turn the light on now and maybe you guys can get a little bit better view. So here it is with the light on. You can see the 120 millimeter fan right there. Let's actually go ahead and take this, take this case off. What's the point of that? Take the cover off. You guys can clearly see that they are definitely blue and they are definitely fans and they definitely look cool if you ask me now I also have another question that I should have uh, well, I might as well ask in this video is that should I get a different fan for the top hair uh, if I do get a different one should I get LEDs or not I'm thinking I kind of just want to keep this one playing because I don't know if I want lights showing up uh, but let me know your recommendations down in the comments below so yeah there we go we got the three fans working everything's working maybe once I get more advanced in computers, I'll put like LEDs on the case or something. 
But for now, we got a 200 milliliter fan intaking and then two fans outtaking uh, the air, as you can see. So again, the two questions in this video are, should I get Windows 8 or Windows 7? Or I guess I should say that, should I get Windows 7 or Windows 8? That would be the more proper way to say it. And also, should I replace the fan on the top of the case right there? And if I should, what fan should I get? Should it be LED or not? Let me know down in the comments below. My iPhone stopped recording, but what I was going to say was let me know in the comments below those two, the answers to those two questions, or what you guys think, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video. I should have another video about this computer up eventually, but for now, I'm going to go film another video, which I will be posting in a few days here, so be sure to subscribe if you want to know what that video is. If you're new to the channel, I put out new tech videos every week. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for instant updates on the computer and other things. And I'm going to stop promoting myself and go now. So see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.